But anyway, everybody, welcome back to Soma. This is where we left off day before yesterday because we had a PC error yesterday. Whoa, hold on. There we go. So as you can obviously tell, the dome has collapsed and we're underwater and we're maybe, we're, we might not be as human as we think we are. Now remember, this dude, he just went to a doctor's office just to have like a brain scan done. So, so all this, he has no idea what's going on. He doesn't know how to make sense of anything. Okay, fine, let's see, that's Zeppelin transport. And he's got to find the shuttle to Lambda. Maybe we go this way instead. Can I jump while I'm underwater? Yes, I can. Oh, I can actually go a good distance, too. Where do you go? Anywhere? No. Okay, you're sealed. But yeah, I, I, just missed, I just missed some stream time yesterday, and I wanted to make up for it. And, hey, the opportunity was there, and I seized it. <clears throat> Got a few people in, which was nice. They came and they came and went, typically as people do. So hey, as long as, long as I can get eyes on me, help my analytics out just a little bit, it's all that matters. Yeah, I don't even I don't know if I should be worried about what that is or not, but hey, I'm going to assume not because I'm just I'm just hauling ass through here and nothing's happening really. Data buffer available. Does this count as horror? Absolutely. I mean, it's made by Frictional Games. The the minds behind the Amnesia series made this game. So we've already ran into one one monster or one machine. I think they're all machines in this game. I have oh, fuck. Okay, maybe don't get his attention. Let's not do that because his eyes are red, and I don't want to get his attention. Yeah, okay. So apparently when my screen star does that fizzle, that little graphical error, that means there's one of them nearby and I have to be careful. Um, okay, maybe we weren't supposed to go this way? I don't think we were actually, damn it. Okay, there's just a light here for no reason, huh? Shit. Uh, but yeah, this is absolutely a horror game. This is from the people who made the amnesia series so it's definitely up their alley it's yeah, you can stay over there dude but um this is kind of my kind of horror like the Callisto protocol was good it was a great game i recommend everybody play it if you can get it for dirt cheap or even maybe even twenty dollars for like the season pass version and all that game of the year edition or whatever. Um, the problem is like once you get an arsenal of weaponry, the game loses its challenge, and that's what happened with the Callisto Protocol. And then the combat got a little bit repetitive, you know. And that's all it is. But it's still, otherwise, a great game. It's a fantastic game. It really is a spiritual successor to Dead Space. Also, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm kind of just following these lights. Yeah, we need to get the Lambda station. There's a robot there. They got those red eyes, so I'm going to assume they're hostile. I, don't, I doubt he can hear me under the water if I sprint, but at the same time, I don't want to risk it. 
No, don't look this way. Don't look this way. Oh my god, he was fucking close. He about 180'd on me. Okay, we're good. We're good. We are good. We are good. But yeah. Um So now now we're at the now we're at this crossroads uh where we have to kind of figure out um what we're gonna do after horror month. I know I mentioned Metal Gear series. And now, like, there's a lot more to that than just, oh, hey, I'm playing this series one at a time. Uh, is this it? Okay. Okay, this doesn't work. Yet. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh. Did that do it, apparently? Okay, sweet. Awesome. Awesome possum. Let's go. Let's cycle this. But, yeah, we get to play through this, and then we go through the other amnesia games, and then... I think the other amnesias are in the afternoon and evening stream. I know we're doing Bendy and the Ink Machine and all that during the mornings. Which is going to be fun. Okay, there, there was a load there. Let's hope the shuttle's still working. Yeah, probably not. Let's, let's be real here. The shuttles are not going to work. Fuck, this game's dark. Holy shit. Oh, I do have a flashlight. Where no? Get a flashlight? Okay, I guess it's just part of us. So this is a health station. I think we're good on health, though. Yeah, probably. Insufficient power. Okay. Okay, heal up a little bit, apparently, because that's what this thing does, it seems. Jesus Christ. What the hell? I don't know what it does exactly, but it does something. Okay. So we got to restore power to the station, then we can hop on the tram and get the hell out of here. Oh, man. It's only going to get worse. I don't know if the if the monsters or the machines or whatever you want to call them will see my flashlight light. That's kind of the only thing I'm worried about. Man, this is so fucking scary. Okay, we're fine though. We're fine. What the fuck is going on with you, huh? Hey, are you? Don't hurt me. Can I help? You won't let me die. Nothing is about to die. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do. Oh, that's the lady on the intercom we were listening. Tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Okay, Amy needs to. Oh no, we're about to unplug her and kill her. Damn. Sorry, lady. Sorry. Shit. Are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know. I want to go home. Well. There you go. I mean, hey, we had to do it as much as I didn't want to, but we need power. Good, everything's stable now. Okay. My hand is itchy for some reason. Sorry about that, lady, but, um... My life is worth more than yours. Okay. I'm just gonna sprint through here, because there's only one way in, one way out, so I don't imagine 
a big ass robot's gonna fit through this tiny hole. Okay. Uh, yeah, the more I, so I was talking the other day about if I can make a horror game, what it would be. And the more I think about it, the better it gets. It's just. I don't like real, realistically nobody's going to want to make it. I don't, I don't think, or it might be a one and done type dealio. Okay, power up. Come on, epsilon theta. Okay, so or no lambda, lambda. Okay. So we gotta go through all these other stations to get the lambda. Holy shit. What secrets do you hold? Um, adaptable pipes. Uh, repair set. Okay. I wonder if we need that at some point. Probably so. But, so the... Okay. Um, so the basic premise of it... Okay. Oh. I guess we want to go to. We, get, we want to go to Lambda, so. Yeah. Personnel 8, 0, f uh, 4, 4, 24, 12. Okay, so these are probably the last areas. Okay, that's kind of cool. You can shuttle back and forth. But basically, the premise is. is think it can be multiplayer or single player i think you if you do both in kind of the same general setting oh fuck welcome to pathos 2 your expressway to the stars what started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the omega space gun the world's most affordable way to launch satellites and deep space probes our unique atlantic ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun running longer than a marathon to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. The station spans multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers and scientists. Together they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. In addition to our principal operation, Pathos 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, okay. including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea construction. Okay, for those of you watching live right now, it's greatly appreciated that you are here. 